Good morning, everyone. Today we are going to learn on how to solve problems involving the union of sets. Okay, we are going to look at example eleven in your textbook that is on page one one three. Here, look at the example. A total of twenty six pupils participate in a scouting program at the river bank. The activities of the program are kayaking and fishing. Two activities here. 18 pupils participate in kayaking and 15 pupils participate in fishing, while 9 pupils participate in both kayaking and fishing. Question asks you, what is the total number of pupils who participate in the activities of the program? Okay, so to find out the answer, we will need the Venn diagram. First, we need to understand the problem here. We have to list out everything. The total number of pupils is 26, kayaking 18, Fishing 15, kayaking and fishing is 9. And the question they ask you to calculate the total number of pupils who participate in the activities of the program. So after that, you have to make a planning. Here, the E or the universal set is used to represent the Venn diagram. That is the total number of pupils. Okay. I use K to represent the pupils who participate in kayaking and J to represent the pupils who participate in fishing. We cannot use F over here because the alphabetical order is not in order. So we have to use the one which is in order. K followed by J or any other alphabetical later, but it is in order. Okay, so we are going to start drawing the Venn diagram using the first circle to represent set K. That is the pupil who participate in kayaking. So label is as K. Then the next circle is to represent set J. So we label it as J. Okay, here to list out everything, we have to start from the bottom. The bottom is the one which is intersect. Okay, so kayaking intersect with fishing, that will be 9. You label the 9 here. After that, for kayaking, we know that we have the total number of pupils, which is 18. Which means in the circle over here, we have 18 pupils. But we already have 9 here. So 18 minus 9 will be 9. And for fishing, we have 15 pupils as shown here. So 15 minus 9 will be 6. Okay. Then we continue with the rectangle to represent the universal set and label it as the universal symbol. Okay, we haven't answered the question yet. They ask you to find the total number of pupils who participate in the activities of the program. So these are the total number of pupils, which will be 9 plus 9 plus 6. Therefore, the total is equal to 24. Okay. We have answered the question already, but our Venn diagram is not complete yet because we have the total number of 26 pupils, remember? So I'm going to find the number of people who do not participate, which will be 26 minus 24. Therefore, the answer is 2. Okay, let us continue with example 12 in your textbook, page 114. Okay, in example 12 here, the question given is, a total of 100 adults are involved in a survey on the top choices of reading materials. So there are three types of reading materials. Four people choose news, 40 people sorry, choose newspaper, 25 people choose magazine, 18 people choose storybooks. Okay, so these are the three reading materials, newspapers, magazines, and also storybooks. Okay, the next one here, eight people choose both newspapers and magazines. Seven people choose both magazines and storybooks. Five people choose both newspapers and storybooks. And three people choose all three types of reading materials. Okay, how many people do not choose any of the reading materials? Okay, it's the same thing. You are going to solve it by using the Venn diagram. So first, we understand the problem by listing out everything here, given the total number of adults, 100, the number of uh, adult reading newspaper, magazine, storybook, newspaper and magazine is 8, after that magazine storybooks is 7, newspaper and storybooks is 5, and the three of them is 3. Okay, 
So we have to plan the strategy. The total number of adults, we are going to represent it using the universal set. Okay. And newspaper, I'm going to use P to represent set uh, P for newspaper. Set Q to represent the magazine. Set R to represent the storybook. So you can set, see the same thing over here. We use the P, Q, and R, which is in alphabetical order. Okay, if you use N to represent newspaper, that will be N, M, O, but it's not in sequence, so we better use P, Q, and R. Okay, continue with it. We draw the Venn diagram, the first circle to represent the newspaper, set P. Second circle to represent magazine set Q and the third circle to represent storybook set R okay same thing to make it easy you label start from the intersection so we have three intersection over here which is newspapers magazine and storybook there are three adults so you label three here after that newspaper and storybook so you can see newspaper and storybook is representing using set p and also set r it is over here the intersecting uh, area okay so five i'm going to minus three we have a two here which represent five adults who read newspapers and storybook whereas for magazine and storybook which is set q and also r over here we have seven adults so 7 minus 3, it is 4. Okay. Adults who read newspaper and magazine are 8. So here is the intersecting area. Okay. So you use 8 minus 3, we have a 5. After that, you complete the rest. Newspaper, we have the total 40 adults. 40 minus 5 minus 3 minus 2. Okay. So you will have the answer of 30. Whereas for set Q, that is magazine, you have 25 all together. So 25 minus 5 minus 3 minus 4, then the answer is 13. Okay, the last one here is the storybook. Storybook, we have 18 adults. 18 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4, so the answer is 9. Okay. But we haven't answered the question yet because they asked you to calculate the number of people who do not choose any of the reading material, meaning that you are going to choose the one which is outside here, the complement of the set. Okay, we look at the, we look at the next slide. How many people do not choose any of the reading material? So from the diagram that we have here, we know that the total number of adults is 100. Okay, we are going to complete the Venn diagram by drawing the rectangle to representing to represent the universal set. Okay, so we are going to find the number of adults who do not choose any of the reading material. Means set P union with set Q union with set R. Therefore, we are going to use the 100 minus 5 minus 3 minus 4 minus 2 minus 30 minus 13 and minus 9. Therefore, the answer is 34. So we are going to label the 34 out here. Okay. Therefore, the 34 is the answer who will represent the number of people that didn't choose any of the reading material. Okay. That's all for today. So you refer back to the exercise given. I want you to finish up the exercise and then check with the answer at the back. Thank you.